In today's video, we are going to talk about a small yet incredibly powerful addition to the all popular date range, price range, and date and price range tools. Now, if you're not familiar with these videos, first of all, open up a chart and go start trying these out because these are invaluable tools that will tell you quick stats in a matter of seconds. And we've made many in depth videos about how to use these on our YouTube channel. For example, if you're looking at a chart like this and you want to measure the distance from the absolute peak to the absolute low, well, in this example, you could click price range, click the absolute peak, move your mouse to the absolute low and click again. And just like that, you have precise data points about that move. You can see right down here, you see the dollar amount and you even see the percentage change minus 84%. So you can see how quickly now you can go through these types of charts using these tools. The date range tool would tell you what the date is. So you could see, you know, what's the exact date here from these two points. And of course, then the date and price range tool combines them. Now, that's not the point of this video, though. The point of this video is a new addition to this tool, whereby if you double click and head to the settings, of the price range tool, there is a new column called text. If you click the text column, you can now add text directly to this tool. This will add a whole new dimension of note taking, of ways to write down your thoughts on specific moves, and to save them and to always revisit them. You know, we could just write, this is some text, exclamation mark. Let's make the lettering a little bigger. Let's bold it, let's click OK, and you can see this is some text right here. Why don't we change the color because it's kind of blending in with the blue background and make this even bigger, or the blue chart, click OK. This is some text, there it is. Where we'd hit save, and now you can start to imagine how every time you start to visit your charts, you have your ranges measured and calculated with some text written. So we can go through many examples of this. For example, if we went to Amazon, so let's go through a chart of Amazon quickly. Now here we are on a chart of Amazon. And as you can see, maybe a double bottom's coming. What do you think? Is that a possibility? It sure seems that way. We can see there was a low here. And if you were looking to trade Amazon, you would never just rush in. Nope, you would do your research. You would look first. You would find that point that gives you the best risk and reward. And then go for it. And maybe you think it's the double bottom. Well, that's still not enough information to tell you about this trade. You also need to know what the last return was from this price point if you do think it's a double bottom. So you can go to the range tools. You can click price range. You can click the low here. You can move the tool up to the top here. And you can see it's about a 18% move. Click again to lock it in. So there it is. Now we can double click the tool. We can go to text, the new text feature of the range tool. We can type Amazon bounce number one. So this was sort of the first bounce. Let's change the font so it's a little smaller because the we don't want to take up the whole chart and click OK. And now, how beautiful is that? As we watch this chart, we could set an alert. In fact, why don't we do that? So right here, let's right click and let's go to add alert. And here's our alert, all our conditions. We're just going to call this Amazon Double Bottom. And let's click Create. Now we've created an alert. And now look at the process we've just created with this new feature. And every time we come to this Amazon chart, we'll see these notes right before us. This is how we are doing our research, planning ahead, and trying to think through our best setups. Use the tools that you have. They're right here for you. And in this example, we have the previous move, it's about 18%. We see what happened last time. We have the alert set, and now we are just better prepared. Of course, we'd probably want to mark down a stop loss. Uh, we might want to map you know, down a more of the journey, in which case we could probably use something like the long or short position tools to really map out the whole trade. But the point of this video is to show you how you can use this new text feature to make more beautiful charts that are clean, crisp, clear, and sort of just give you that next level note taking capability. We could show you many more examples, but there's no need to dive in too much.
about this, just know this one takeaway. These tools make measuring points on the chart very fast. Date range, measure the date in seconds. Price range, measure the price range in seconds. Date and price range, measure both in a matter of seconds. And now you can add little notes of text to those measurements, save them to your chart, and follow them for as long as you need to. Thanks for watching, and we hope you enjoyed this new tool.